Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all okay. Look, I finally have matching hands, matching nails. Um, so this one is, it's quite a short video for today actually, but it is my daughter's 15th birthday today. Um, and she is Disney mad. She loves Winnie the Pooh, Lilo and Stitch, you know, all the cute characters. Who doesn't, to be honest, they are adorable. So when I was creating this set, I had, I had her in mind um, and I showed her after and she absolutely loved it. And she wants me to make her some actual nails that fit her now, <laughs> so I've got to do that. Um, so I've gone in uh, just a random mix of sizes because this was just for a video. Um, medium stiletto. So I've gone straight in with Madame Glam's base coat and then I've chosen Moonchild from House of Love. And I'm going to do two coats on all five nails. Now, I tried something in this video that didn't go to plan. So I don't know if you've seen, there's like a ombre hack where you can matte top coat the nail and then dip it in some acrylic powder, coloured acrylic powder, um, and it's supposed to do a really good ombre. So that's what it looks like. The thumb, middle and pinky dipped in white acrylic powder to create an ombre. It did not work. Um, and it almost, it's made the moon child colour turn like a pale nude instead of the pale pink um so i was like you know what I sod it it's going to keep getting too bulky so i'll just do my own ombre and i did it to the ones that i tried to ombre with the acrylic powder but i don't know whether i'm doing it wrong so i put the two colors on that top coated dipped it in the powder uh, let it soak in a little bit brushed it off matte top coat dip it again and i just kept on doing that i did it like three times so i was like it's it's adding far too much product to the nail. It's going too chunky. Uh, so I didn't like it. So I buffed and buffed just to get rid of some of the, the excess product, the bulkiness. And I just did my own ombre with some perfect white. And I'm much happier with the outcome of that. Uh, added some funfetti onto those ombres. Absolutely love it. And then these, I haven't used these yet. These are from the Sheen haul video that we did a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I thought, oh, I've seen a few people do this where um they take a larger crystal and then a couple of sizes down so i've gone down two sizes getting the same color crystal and using them as the ears to make a mickey mouse face absolutely love it it's so so cute so that is for the thumb and i do the exact same thing to the middle finger as well um i was going to do the same thing to the pinky but i'm going to do a little bit different to that I'll show you in a second because it is coming here it is so I've done like a chain like a necklace so I've done the big pink uh crystal stone and then we'll do the two ears and because there's only three colors that I've used there's only three colors in the crystals anyway um so I alternated the blue green blue green for the chain of the necklace and then I do end up putting some silver caviar beads in uh, to fill in any gaps and such quick update on my mother she i visited her yesterday so it's saturday today for me doing the voiceover um i visited her yesterday afternoon and i'm visiting her again in about an hour and a half um so yesterday she was still in critical care in the intensive care unit sort of thing um but she was sitting up she smiled when i walked in she was chatting um, she's eating a little bit, she's drinking plenty, she drank plenty while I was there. Um, but she's so like drugged up, I suppose. She's on so much like strong painkillers, pain relief. Um, it's almost like she's had a stroke, like she's mumbling, slurring her speech, not making much sense. Um, but I spoke to a surgeon and he is very, very pleased with how quickly she's recovering. So I'm happy that he's happy and hopefully she'll be home very soon. But thanks for all your messages of support. I have been telling her um, all the, the lovely words that you've been saying and all the prayers that you've been saying for her as well. Um, and I know she appreciates it so much. She was quite, I don't want to say overwhelmed again because I always say overwhelmed. I'm not very good with words. She was very taken aback by complete strangers um, offering, her, offering her support. And yeah, she was really, really really pleased with all of that so thank you very much definitely gave her a smile um so this is the index finger and this is my second attempt at drawing the mickey mouse face i went straight in without any 
um, like reference photo. I was just trying to do it slightly slanted um, and try and get as much as the face in as possible. Uh, the first time it didn't even look like Mickey Mouse. It was a mess. Uh, so I wiped it all off. Um, and I just did, so I did the nose first. Like I just mapped out where I wanted the nose and I cured that. And then we go in, once I'm happy with the eyes, cure it. You know, just do little sections at a time. If you're happy with it, get it cured so that it doesn't move. Because if you mess up the next bit and then you have to wipe it all off. Oh, hate, hate doing that. Uh, so filling in all the black bits, get that cured, and then we can start to put in all the different bits of colours on. Yeah, I'm hoping she's home for Mother's Day. In the UK, it's Mother's Day next Sunday. Is it, um, is it St. Patrick's Day on Thursday? Because I've got, I wanted to do a St. Patrick's Day video for today, but because it's my daughter's birthday, um, I thought I'd do it a little bit dedicated to her. So I think St. Patrick's Day video Wednesday, and then a Mother's Day, see if we can do something a little bit special for Mother's Day. Um, and then we should be able to sort out all the giveaways. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to that as well. So that is Mickey face. He is done. Look how cute he is. I'm not happy with his eyes. I think his eyes are a bit wonk. Uh, but it is the best I can do at this point. So he is going on right there. So let's do the ring finger. So I have these stamping plates that I got from eBay. I think there was three or four that I've shown in the past. Um, the video of them, it was the Chanel nails video. For some reason, I never listed uh, in the description the, the uh, link to go and buy them. Look, I messed up very quickly while it was still a bit damp. Quickly push that back into place. Um, yeah, I never, I never put the link in the description box for them, so I will be doing that for this video because there are a lot, a lot of good stamping plates from this one seller, and this one was one of them. All the different logos, and I thought this would be adorable for this. So we're going in with a dotting tool and then a smaller dotting tool to create some little Mickey heads. I was planning on doing them all the same way, like the ears will be in the same place for all of them, um, but I think it adds a little bit extra character if they're all like facing a different way, I don't know. So I've added one to the pinky at the bottom there and a few to the thumb and the middle. And we've got Mickey and the Disney mat and the rest are glossy. And we've got a little bit of black on me gem. Oh, no. Give it a wipe. There we go. Much better. Right. Thanks so, so much for watching. I really do hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Everything I've used will be linked in the description box as well. And all the coupon codes, discount codes will be linked as well. The Beatles and the Born Pretty are both affiliate links. Um, so it just let them know that I've come, you've come from me and I do earn a commission from the Born Pretty, but it's entirely up to you uh, what you want to do. But thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye.